Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo, and in this video, I want to talk about um, slicer showing deleted, you know, data or items, if you may. Okay, and um, how to fix it. Okay, so I have some sample data here, um, just simple dates, sales person, and the sales amount. So I'm just going to create a pivot table, then create a slicer. So you just need to have the axis cell as being within, you know, your source range. I can press the shortcut, Alt D, Delta, Papa, Alt DP. An old shortcut from 2003. Do next. Selected the range correctly. I do next. Existing worksheets. I just put it somewhere here where I can see it. Finish. So here I'm just going to have... Maybe I just do like a date in my rows, then of course sales person uh, to be summed up in the values field. Okay, and I'm going to create a slicer for the sales person column. So I'm going to go to my pivot table analyze tab, insert slicer, and I select sales person. Okay, and I do okay. You can adjust it if you want, but maybe because I'm going to create a few more items. Okay, so now you can see that I have just, you know, four names in here. And um, even though I have, let me see how many rows of data, okay, about 17, but essentially unique. I have four unique names. So now this is what you notice. Let me take out um, all the carries and change them to a different name. So maybe I just do a control H. So I'm going to replace all carries with um, Angela. Okay, replace all. Right. So, of course, now my data has changed. I need to update my pivot, obviously, you know, and then my slicer would update too. So, refresh. Okay, so you see that because I've taken out carry, carry still appears here, but faintly because it's an item that used to be on the list. So, what would you do in this case one way to solve it is if you go here to the slicer and you go to the slicer settings you would see at the bottom here you could either check hide items with no data but really this is the key here show items deleted from the data source if you uncheck this and do okay you know you're fine but let me go back and uh, you know put that back in there that's not really where the problem is coming from. The problem really is coming from the pivot itself. Because what happens is that when you create a pivot table, you have a pivot cache behind, right? Which is kind of like a hidden, you know, um, copy of your source data or your data range. The slicer cache does link up with the pivot cache and picks, you know, the data from there. So the problem is that the data still exists in the pivot cache. So to really solve the problem, you need to get rid of it from the pivot itself and once you do that the slicer is taken care of so for the pivot just select any cell within the pivot go to pivot table analyze go to options you could go in a shorter route but that's still fine just for everybody to know how it works then you go to the data tab so when you go to the data tab you see here it says retain items deleted from the data source the number of items to retain per field is automatic so this is why it keeps retaining all that data. So it's not really the slicer, you know, that has a problem. It's the pivot itself. So once you fix it here, and you can change this to none, say don't retain any deleted data and do OK, you know, that automatically fixes it. So if I delete Angela and uh, maybe change Angela to something else, let's just do a Control H and just do Angela and uh, change it to my name, Victor, and do replace all. Right, so you close this and refresh. You could do so. You see, I have Victor here, and Angela doesn't appear. So, yeah, you could easily fix it with you know, um, the slicer settings of say, you know, don't show items that have any data. But the real problem is coming from the pivot cache, and once you can fix it in the pivot cache, then you know, you are fine. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the channel. And you can also hit the like button. Like I always say, if you can think it, in Excel, you can probably do it.
Okay, I'm out.